Okay, so question C was as follows. The graph below shows the relationship between X and Y. Okay, so you need to take time to study the graph. So this is the graph I have drawn on the left side of the screen. And this is the one which is in the question paper. Uh, it's one that it's, you have used uh, a colored uh, graph paper. Okay, so you just need to also pay attention to the graph that is the one you can see in, in black there with the dots. Okay, so if you have finished now studying the graph, then you can go ahead and answer the questions. Uh, viewers, I urge you to pause videos every time you are watching. Uh, you try to pause the video, you, you try to solve the question, then later on you play the video and see how we have solved it. Okay, so question one was, find the formula that represent the relationship between X and Y. Okay, so we need to find the formula that to stand, will represent the relationship between X and Y. So to do that, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the gradient, the slope. Okay, uh, we're going to find the, 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 the gradient. So uh, the formula for gradient is M is equal to Y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 okay so here what we're going to do is we're going to get uh we're going to select two points okay among these four points we're going to pick two points and that's where the ones are going to use to find the gradient so we are going to use this point which is the one of second in red which has got the coordinates which are uh, 1 comma 3 as well as uh, this point which has got the coordinates which are 2 comma 4 okay then what we're going to do is we're going to be getting now let's get the value of uh, y2 so the value of y2 is 4 so 4 minus what is the value of uh, the second point which is 3 1 comma 3 so the value the value of y1 is 3 so it's going to be minus 3 then what's the value of x2 so x2 the the value of x2 is in, uh, the coordinate for x is in, 2 so we're going to get 2 okay minus 1 because the coordinate of uh, x1 is in, 1 okay then once we've done this, then we're going to find the difference uh, of 3 and 4 and 3 as well as 2 and 1. So 4 minus 3 will give us 1. Over 2 minus 1 will give us 1. Now when we divide 1 by 1, it will give us 1. So the gradient for this slope is 1. Okay. Now once we've found the gradient, now we can go ahead and find the write the the expression for uh, this formula the formula for this so we can say the formula we use to find the formula of the slope like this one we use which is y is equal to m x plus b where m is the gradient x is just the term x then plus b b this is the y intercept y intercept okay so mostly when a graph uh, has a when a graph is crossing the y we look at where the, the line is crossing y the point at which the line the graph is crossing the y axis then that is the value we get now in this case uh, this line is not crossing the y axis so we're going to calculate for uh, y intercept Okay, so now let's so let's find the values of these letters in this formula. So we 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 are expressing uh, y uh, to x, eh? the relationship y has to x. So we are going to say y is equal to then the gradient which is m. M is the gradient. So the gradient we found is one. So I'm going to write one. Then one x. Then plus what is the value of b? We don't know the value of b so we need to calculate the value of b so we're going to get this formula we have 
which is y is equal to mx plus b. Okay, so we're going to write it this side. Y is equal to mx plus b. So uh, we're going to say y, what is the value of y? So we're going to get this point here. We're going to come back to the graph and get one of these, uh, one point here. You can get any point among these four points. You can get any. But for me, I'm going to get the slowest. And uh, you give viewers, when you're solving such a question, get the, the point with the smaller numbers as coordinates. So this is the point that has got smaller number, which are coordinates. They are easier to multiply. If you get uh, points that have got bigger number, that means it's going to be difficult because you're going to be dealing with bigger uh, numbers. Okay, so we're going to get that point. So what is the value of y in that point you see? 3. So we're going to say 3. Oh, three. So y is equal to 3, which is equal to, then what is uh, the value of m? m we're saying it's uh, the gradient it's 1. So we're going to say equal to 1. Then at that point where I have second to 0, what is the value of x? The value of x is 1. So we're going to multiply 1 by 1 plus e, b. Okay. Then I'm going to evaluate one by one first. So I'm going to write three is equal to one by one will give us one plus b. Okay. Then I'm going to put like terms together there. So I'm going to write three. Then one will close the equal sign. Come this side. It's going to be minus one. Then is equal to b. Okay. Because that's a positive b. So it's going just to be b. Then I'm going to find the difference of 3 and 1, which is going to be 2. Then 2 is equal to B. So the value of B in that graph is 2. So therefore, on that equation, I can say Y is equal to... Um, now I've come back to the equation which is on the middle in yellow. Because we left this equation on Y is equal to 1X. Now, now, since we have found the value of b, then we can put the value of b there. Remember, we are adding, so we are going to say plus 2. Okay, so the value of b is 2, so plus 2. Okay, now once we have done that, then we can simplify 1x there. Okay, so we can write y is equal to, then 1x multiplied by, 1 multiplied by x will give us x, which is plus 2. Okay, so that is the formula for the relationship between x and y, which is y is equal to x plus 2. Okay. Now, once we've done that, the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to go to the uh, question C2, which is find the value of y when x is equal to 10. Okay. So, we're going to get the same formula we've formulated there, uh, which is y is equal to x plus 2. Then where there is x, we're going to put the value because x is given, which is 10. So we're going to say y is equal to, then where there is x, we're going to put 10. So we're going to say uh, y is equal to 10 plus 2. Then we're going to evaluate 10 plus 2. So we're going to say y is equal to 10 plus 2 is equal to 12. So the value of uh, y when x is equal to 10 is 12. Okay, so basically this is how you solve the question. Uh, if you have got questions, you can ask in the comment section. Otherwise, let's go to the next question.